Have you ever wondered how a day of joy could transform into a day of immense sorrow? Picture this. A wedding hall in Iraq, filled with laughter, joy, and the promise of new beginnings. Suddenly, horror unfolds as fire breaks out, turning the celebration into a nightmare. The fire, believed to have been ignited by fireworks, devours everything in its path, leaving no room for escape. Around a hundred lives were extinguished that day, while another hundred and fifty were marred by the physical and emotional scars of the catastrophe. But the fire wasn't the only culprit. The lack of safety protocols and standards played a significant role in turning the incident into a tragedy. Flammable materials, toxic gases and a dire absence of emergency exits and fire extinguishers all contributed to the devastating outcome. This was not just an accident, it was a stark reminder of the importance of safety measures and the devastating consequences of their oversight. The incident has left deep scars on the survivors and the community. In the wake of the disaster the community and authorities are seeking answers. The Iraqi Prime Minister, Mohammed Shia al-Sudani, has ordered a full investigation into the blaze, visiting the site himself to meet with victims' families. The sorrow and outrage in their eyes were clear, their demand for justice echoing through the charred remains of their once joyous celebration. The safety of the reception hall has been thrust into the spotlight, with many questioning the government's role in implementing building regulations. Was this a case of negligence or an unfortunate accident? As the ashes cool, the pressure is mounting on the government to ensure such a tragedy does not happen again. Several arrests have been made in connection with the operation of the hall, a grim reminder of the serious consequences of cutting corners when it comes to safety. The use of highly flammable cladding on the hall's exterior has been cited as a contributing factor to the rapid spread of the fire. This revelation has sparked outrage and calls for stricter building regulations, not just in Nineveh but across Iraq. But amidst the investigations and finger-pointing, one cannot forget the human cost of this tragedy. More than a hundred lives were lost. Each one a story cut short, each one a family left grieving. This disaster has added to the ongoing challenges faced by Iraq's Christian minority. Their resilience however is unwavering. As they bury their dead and comfort the mourning, they stand united, their faith unshaken by this terrible event. This tragedy has added to the ongoing challenges faced by Iraq's Christian minority. But as they say, the night is darkest before the dawn, and perhaps this tragic event will serve as a wake-up call, a catalyst for change, a beacon in the night guiding the way towards a safer future. Imagine being the couple at the center of this tragedy. Picture the emotional turmoil they are grappling with. On what should have been the happiest day of their lives, they instead witnessed a catastrophe that claimed the lives of their loved ones. The bride and groom are not just dealing with their own grief but also the burden of guilt. Their joyous occasion became the scene of a disaster, a fact that haunts them every waking moment. As they navigate this profound loss they are also struggling with the harsh reality of their day-to-day -day existence. Living in the same community has become unbearable. Everywhere they turn, they are met with reminders of the horrific event. The trauma is too raw, too real. And it's not just the couple who are suffering, the community is grieving too, and in their grief, some may even unfairly blame the couple for the tragedy that unfolded. In the face of such adversity, they find themselves unable to stay. The place they once called home is now a stark reminder of the disaster that stole their joy and the lives of their friends and family. Their happiest day turned into a nightmare that they'll never forget. In the face of such a catastrophe, change is not just necessary, but crucial. The echoes of this tragic event reverberate far and wide, urging us to reflect and reform. The wedding fire in Iraq has exposed the grim reality of lax safety measures and insufficient enforcement of building standards in the country. A celebration of love turned into a night of horror, a stark reminder that safety can never be compromised. This incident has sparked a desperate call for change, a plea for better, more stringent regulations. It's not just about implementing rules but about enforcing them, ensuring that each structure, each building, each venue meets the required safety standards. It's about making sure that no family has to suffer the agony of losing their loved ones in such a horrific manner again. The voices of the community, the pleas of the victims' families are loud and clear. They are calling on the government, on those in power, to step up, to take responsibility, and to ensure that such a tragedy never repeats itself. Their message is simple, yet powerful. Safety is not a privilege, it is a right. 
For the survivors and the families of the victims, the change can't come soon enough.